back to the channel. Today's video is one that I'm pretty excited about. See, over the last couple of months, I've become a little bit fascinated with the potential of using specialty grade coffee in more of a convenient style. I'm totally aware that we all live really busy lifestyles and I think one thing that puts quite a lot of people off when it comes to brewing really delicious coffee at home is the amount of time it takes to brew a really good coffee. Now I wanted to try and find coffee that is convenient but also has the potential of tasting great. So today we are going to be brewing specialty instant coffee. So unfortunately there's no UK based companies that are doing any specialty instant so I've bought these from the US and I've gone for a company called Swift Cup Coffee and I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what it tastes like. So without further ado let's get stuck in. So basically I went for the starter pack and in the starter pack you get three boxes with six single serve sachets inside and I got an Ethiopian single origin, a Brazil single origin and a blend. So I'm pretty interested to see what it looks like so I reckon we should get them out and, and take a bit of a look. There's not much information on there. Um, on the back it's high quality ethically sourced coffee that was carefully preserved for you so it's obviously gone through the freeze drying process and um, it just basically says stir well and add 10 ounces of water so that's what we're going to do. We're going to brew three cups of each of the coffees and then we're going to assess them. I guess we just open them up pour them into the cups and get brewing. So I'm quite interested to see what the actual coffee looks like in here. It smells interesting. It's not really any of those origin characteristics coming through from the smell, it just sort of smells like freeze dried coffee, which I don't know if that's a, a good thing or a bad thing. But to be honest, I can't remember the last time I had a, an instant, instant coffee. This is the mainstay blend. Similar sort of smell, although it's it's a bit darker in colour, so I'm guessing it's probably a bit more developed. This one's lighter, the Ethiopian's lighter. And now to the Brazil. Let's see what this one's like. And yeah, that one's similar colour to the main blend and to different to the Ethiopian and it's sort of what I would expect from the way that we were sort of more developed for the Centrals and the South Americans and a little bit lighter for the African coffees so one thing you can notice in them is you can still see the sort of crystals there's almost crystals from the freeze drying process I'm guessing right so smell wise not really smelling of any origin characteristics really um, more sort of a coffee generic coffee smell difference in the color which is interesting to sort of suggest that it's been a bit of a lighter roast on the ethiopian than the the two central and the south american coffee so let's get some water poured on these coffees it says 10 ounces of water which equates to about 280 grams if you wanted to measure it out but these cups are 10 ounce cups so should be perfect. I'm going to fill them right the way to the top to get the maximum amount of brew and then we'll have a little bit of a bit of a smell. Right I'm going to give them a good stir Let's 
let's have a smell. You get a, a coffee smell. Um, colour now looks exactly the same once we've put water on them. Ethiopian smells slightly sort of sticky, like to toffee. It's got a slight toffee smell to it. Not really getting much off the blend. I'm not really getting much off the Brazil either, really. So that's interesting. And I don't really want to go in too quickly because obviously we just poured boiling water on. We've left them black. I think we should leave them to sort of cool down for a few minutes. Right, so these coffees have now been sat for a good five minutes. There's only one thing to do really, and that is get in and have a taste. See what they're like. Interesting. Wow. Right, first off, there is a lot of flavour in them. You get the acidity straight off, hits you right at the front of the mouth, and you get a really nice sweet acidity coming from all of them, really. Um, the Ethiopian is a lot brighter. The blend, what I would expect, a little bit more rounded, which it is. And the Brazil, the Brazil is, is fantastic. It, it's, it's really sweet. Um, I'm going to have to go in again, actually. Wow, that's really, really good. I mean, you definitely get the caramel. It's really heavy, really, really viscous. Like, it's quite, quite a heavy, a heavy cup. Well, that's got a, a fruitiness to it as well. Yeah, and the Ethiopian is definitely different. These two are, are quite similar in characteristics. Quite caramelly, um, nice depth of flavour, um, really heavy on the body. The Ethiopian is a lot lighter, um, still quite heavy on the body as well. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably something to do with the process it's gone through because they feel really heavy and textured in the mouth. I think I've, I've probably brewed too much. I'm, I'm a little bit sort of don't know where to go next really. Um, but the Brazil is really standing out. It's really nice and sweet. Bags of sweetness in them. I mean, they're really good. They are really, really good. I think the only one negative I'm getting off them at the moment is the quite, it's that body, that feel in your mouth, it's, it's a bit too syrupy, it's almost synthetic, it's, it's overwhelming my palate, it's a, it's a little bit too much and it's more sticking to the, to the, back, of, the back of my mouth. It's not an astringency, it's not an unpleasant taste, it's, it's just the feeling of it in your mouth is so big and, and bold. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm I'm well and truly shocked at how how good the taste, the sweetness, the acidity. I mean, they're obviously really well roasted coffee. I mean, let's think about where these could potentially be used then, because I'm not I'm not going to be swapping my freshly brewed coffee for a for instant specialty um, anytime soon, but. I think there is a potential to, to travel with these, to sort of stick a couple in your wallet or in your overnight bag. And if you know you're going to be staying at a, a hotel that you know is not going to serve decent coffee, which generally most of them don't serve, don't serve decent coffee, I think pop one of these out on the morning, stick it in your cup, add your hot water, and you've, um, you've got a decent coffee. But I'm... I'm mega impressed by it. Um, yeah, Swift Cup Coffee. Check them out. Go and check them out. I'm going to link them below. There's another company as well called Voila, and I think there's a company called Sudden who also do it. I might do a little series on them, um, convenience specialty coffee. Um, but 
thanks again for watching. I hope you found it interesting and get yourself out there and try some specialty instant because it's pretty decent.